Hello there, ladies and gentlemen of YouTube, the internet, and the like, and welcome back to Black Mesa Source. And where we had previously left off, we had found an elevator shaft, and it appears as though the lift is out of service. So we have this guy right here. I also attempted to stack furniture to see if I could actually reach that soda machine up there, but I, I'm convinced that it's not entirely possible. And I, I don't even know if there's anything down that hallway, but it really looks like a place I could actually get to, but... Trust me, I tried, and I really don't have the patience to continue stacking furniture, because otherwise that's probably just going to lead to disaster. And I'd waste about 15 minutes trying to climb to some place that might not even be intentionally accessible. Like, I wouldn't even be surprised if there were just an invisible wall blocking me there. But, um, this elevator shaft seems to be a little bit easier to climb compared to the other one. <laughs> I can almost reach it. You can almost reach it! Alright, let's just watch this scripted scene of him falling, because it's it's gonna happen. Yeah, he's, um, he's not gonna make it. He's dead, Jim, so we ought to at least move on. But you have my sympathy, Mr. Scientist. I bet if I actually ran over there, he would fall off. That really wouldn't surprise me at all. Well, hey, hey at least we can take the stairs, sort of. Yeah, there he goes. And he started bleeding as soon as he hit something that's... I don't know, that doesn't really seem right, accurate in my opinion, but whatever. I, I won't judge. He, um, he just had to obey the laws of the scripted sequence in this game, so that way he would fall down the pit and die, and that we would be forced to sympathize with a character whom we never even knew, personally. Maybe Gordon did, I don't exactly know. Is there someone in that lift right now, or is this... Hang on. Well, how is it... <sighs> Alright, then fine. Ghost inside the elevator. I'll I'll accept it, you know, there's no need to have somebody like actually pushing the buttons so that way the lift goes up and down. No, no, it's just, it's here. It's all part of the scripted sequence. I wonder how many more times I'm going to mention the fact that this game, like many other games, has scripted sequences. Because otherwise, without a scripted sequence, there would be absolutely no progression. This loading screen is extremely long, by the way. Oh, there we go. Oh, hey, it opens. We've got hostiles! I remember this chapter. Oh, it's a zombie! Okay, go ahead, run into the landmine, yep. <laughs> oh god, no, 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 now the... Boy, the alarm's going off. <sighs> this, um, this can't be good. Can I... Disable this? Can I, like, make the fire doors go back up? Because... I don't remember that being exactly good. Okay, there we go. No, thank God. I thought I would be stuck here forever, because I'm pretty sure you can get stuck behind these doors in the original Half-Life, and that is never good. So, I, I just want to be cautious. So, if you recall correctly, Silo D is our current destination, but right now, the doors are locked. Ergo, we have to find a way to open the doors. But first of all, finally get to get suit energy from these HEV stations, and a little bit of health, too. Security door locked. All right, let's move on with Black Mesa Source. Oh, hey, lasers! And oh, look, it's a turret. Oh boy. I, yeah, I think I'm gonna have to trigger the turret because there's no way I'm gonna make it past this unless I can just shoot it with one shot with the revolver, which disables the lasers. Okay, that's kind of cool. No. Oh my god, that's a lot of grenades. Are those like... Hang on. Yeah, those are regular grenades. I'm surprised that there were so many of them just sitting there. This guy... I don't get a uh, SMG this time. Yeah, I've, I sort of had to remember the fact that I'm not playing the original Half-Life. And I probably won't be getting an SMG for a while. Maybe not even a shotgun. God, when do I ever... I always love having shotguns in video games, so I am kind of curious as to when I'll actually obtain one. Because, you know, it's a shotgun, man. Shotguns are usually fairly powerful in video games. I like that. I also like the suit energy, so I'm quite glad that I could climb these boxes to reach that suit energy. There's probably potential for a lot of secrets in this game, now that there's just, like, so much more room for detail, so... I wonder if I can actually reach any specific spots that will let me get something kind of cool. Like up here! You know, you probably couldn't stand up here in the original Half-Life. You can see there's also a security camera right there. 
this um this doesn't lead to anywhere in particular, I get the feeling, but I'm I'm quite glad I climbed it nonetheless. And okay, let's go over here, spawn the head crab in mid-air, spawn a couple more head crabs because that's also part of the original half-life. I'm never gonna stop talking about that. Uh trip mine. Lovely. Let's see if I can just jump. That's not entirely jumping over the trip mine. That is making a very pitiful hop onto the laser. Oh god, that was that was not entirely as planned. Oh my god, using iron sights on this weapon is terrible. Don't- I'm not doing that again. That was just the worst idea I've ever had. Uh, and my frame rate is now going down to 30. Let's, um, let's pick up a few more cans. Oh, there's an enemy spawning behind me. There's an enemy spawning behind me. That's definitely gotta be behind me. There is no way. Where is he? What? I jump. Oh, God. <sighs> right. He was at the cafeteria all along. So that's where I was going to be asked for my lunch money. And I'm trying to crouch, but. <sighs> using the control key. Seriously. Using the control key as my crouch button is not what I prefer to do. I always prefer to have it mapped at, like, C or something, but I just. I'm not getting that right now. Can I, um. Get more soda. I, I bet I could just get infinite ammunition from this soda machine because it, right now it appears that way. I'm just hitting the same button over and over again and I'm getting free health for this. I approve. So if you potentially need infinite health, just look for a soda machine and there you go. And plus you get an achievement for doing so, so I was kind of farming for that. I should probably get a move on, but after checking to see if this one works, yes it does. But. This one's... okay, you have to hit it against a wall to actually get the soda. Anything in the cafeteria. There's a health station. I probably just could have raided that health station instead of going for soda machines, but the, the soda machine had infinite health. I had to take advantage of that. More ramblers, quivers, french fries, and... I think I could sort of read that. Frish... chaps? Uh, that's really close up. I I think it has something to do with that. Uh, okay. This dead guy. Ooh, coffee cup. Yeah, there's not really much of anything of interest around here. Nice attention to detail, but again, not really much of anything of interest. Oh boy. Um, how many turrets are going to be in here? There's one, there's two. Pfft, this is just asking for the <laughs> Hang on, I- that might have spawned an enemy behind me. I wouldn't be surprised if that actually happened. <laughs> I'm just gonna make these- I'm just gonna constantly check to see if there's something spawning behind me because, again, like, this is probably just what would happen in this sort of situation. The game kind of wants you to expect the unexpected, but... Uh, I'm just, I'm not a fan of enemies spawning behind me. Who would be in this kind of situation? I mean, really, that's just absolutely rude of you guys. Meh. Any other takers? Can I open this? No. I, I really wish you would play the original Half-Life sound, the little, the little tiddly bomb bomb noise. I like that little noise that plays whenever you can't open the door. Uh, hmm. Is this, is this ammo? Can I take from this? Probably not. Well, I have plenty of handgun rounds, but I honestly still prefer to use the revolver over anything. Uh, hi. That's, that's a turret. There's probably a number of other turrets around here, but I could just shoot this one freely. And... I think there might be another one hiding over here. Yep. I bet they're all just activated by the laser trip mines, which really wouldn't surprise me that much. Oop. My game's actually sort of lagging right here. It's sort of around 40 frames per second. I do record my Black Mesa Source videos at 30 frames per second, but usually I can get better frame rate. I can get up to 60 thanks to the power of this computer, but um, sometimes it kind of goes wrong, and you know, loading, rendering a new area can be a slight bit laggy. Anything in the box? Probably not. Okay, this is a wet floor. I should probably not stand on the wet floor. 
Although, that looks like that's where I have to go. I can probably get rid of these turrets if I just shoot them one at a time. Because thankfully, these ones don't activate when you shoot at them with the revolver. Hello there. Maybe in your best interest to reload. Yes, indeed. Thank you for the reminder. I thought these guys would kind of have some dialogue, but more or less looks like they're stuck. Hey! Hey, I know you! Can I shoot? Yes, I can shoot the G-Man, but he, he doesn't really invoke a response from him. I I don't know what I expected, but yeah, he's he's being a creep, as G-Man usually is. Uh, do I have to jump over these strip mines to get you to actually do something? Don't Hang on. I'm going to go back to the elevator shaft real quick and just check something real Shut quick. Up. Is there a secret down there that I could maybe go venture forth? Likely not. Right, let's um, let's go ahead and quick save. He's still standing there, but can I... I... Confirmation, I cannot jump over those unless I crouch jump. <laughs> that voice scared me. Um, okay, let's um... Let's not make that mistake again. <laughs> I'm... I'm good at this game, guys. I... What I really should do, probably, is map my crouch key to, like, C, because that's what I would normally have it set to. Left control, I'm not entirely comfortable with, especially when I have to, like, run, get a running start, or a sprinting start, and it never works out in my favor. I might have to take the time to do that for the next time I ever play this game. It has been a while since I have touched Black Mesa Source in... That was really just laziness on my part, because I had to get a couple of Team Fortress 2 videos out, and I had to complete Series Sam 3, Tool of Denial. And that's pretty much my explanation for that, so I hope you'll forgive me. Uh, military? I think this is around the area where the military appears. Yeah. Oh, I actually saved him. Well, judging from the fact that he was shooting in your direction, that, yeah, I think it's safe to assume that he might have been shooting at you. Oh, hey, yeah, we got the SMG. It can only carry, wow, it can only carry 30 rounds per clip. That's, um, that's kind of interesting. Right, so there's, this is one thing I really ought to address, too, is that Manuel uh, was pointing out the fact that I was using the wrong term, the wrong terminology for what I refer to as clips for the Glock. They're called magazines. I really wish I realized this beforehand, but yeah, these things that I'm loading into the chamber, or the clip, and it, yeah. What I'm loading into this Glock are magazines. What I'm loading onto the SMG is a clip. Uh, now that we have sorted this out, I would like to apologize for making the mistake of using the wrong term, and I hope you'll forgive me for this, so... With our newly founded SMG, we're gonna go on a little bit of an adventure because the military has just begun to invade and as such, in all likelihood, we're going to have to be fighting a lot of these guys. And it's probably not gonna be pleasant, but thankfully they died to one shot with the revolver, so that probably means I'm gonna have a slightly easier time depending on how many strategies they use against you. But, yeah, these guys, they really don't waste time in actually gunning the scientists down. Okay, let's, um... Yep. I've shot you in the chest, you idiot. At least use the proper response. Oh god, he's still shooting at me. Well, there's a different guy altogether. I really don't like using iron sights! This is the worst thing ever! Why does it take up so much of your screen? Like, maybe it wouldn't if I had, like, actually bothered to use... I switch my field of view a little bit, but it's it's really unpleasant. I don't have any grenades for my SMG. That's a little bit sad. These guys are really chatty. Like, a lot- they are really, really chatty. Like, good god. Much more chatty than the original guys. They have to be all tactical, you know. You have to use all those call signs. Yo, hold position! My leg! My arm! Oh god, it hurts! It hurts, Commander! Why are we fighting Gordon Freeman? What did we ever do to him to deserve this? But I think that takes care of most of those guys. 
Ooh, delicious health. Thank you very, very much. We'll see what else is inside these boxes. And pick up some more suit energy. These charger stations, I think you get, what, 75? 65 from them? 75. That is a really, really decent number of suit energy. It's probably only like 25 or 50 in hard difficulty. I would be willing to reckon. Oh, so I still have my flashlight on for some reason. Um, let's keep this at... So, I have... There we go. I just wanted to make sure I would switch the right weapons, because I really love using the revolver. Now... Trip mines? No, these are just... Barnacles. These guys probably won't... You know what? Why not? Let's just, let's just go ahead and get rid of them, because they're not really contributing. They're not really amounting to much, thankfully, because otherwise I would just run right into them and I'd probably have to shoot them a couple times and then I would take fall damage and then that wouldn't exactly be pleasant at all. Plus, these guys are actually sort of strategically positioned, ergo there's a very high possibility I would get caught up in one of their tentacles and that wouldn't exactly be very good for my health, I would be willing to assume. Nothing down the bottomless pit, nothing except a giant... <laughs> a giant fan? Okay. That's, uh, let's not fall down there. That that doesn't seem like the best idea at the moment. Locked door. Yeah, that's just another texture door. That is a lot of lasers. What's over here? Anything at all? Oh, yeah, right. That, stop it. Right, I remember this. So, there's actually a couple of military guards over this railing, and they can't quite see me right now. I'm quite positive they're there, however, because that's where they were positioned in the original Half-Life, so I'm going to make them angry and just start throwing grenades in their general direction, and maybe I'll hit something. Really? Nothing? Maybe they aren't there. Maybe that's one thing they decide to actually, like, edit out of the original one, but, uh, hang on, maybe if I climb onto this box, um, I'll be able to see something. Just give me a second to get up here. Yeah, they're not there! Huh. Well, that's a little bit odd. Well, I got to use the grades, at least. <laughs> let's, um, let's go ahead and ride this... Am I even fast enough to run the opposite direction of where the conveyor belt is taking me? I am curious. No. No, I don't think I am. That's kind of unfortunate. Alright, let's get a move on. So, trip mines. Let's just go ahead and duck. And I can probably go ahead and take care of these laser turrets! Oh my! Nope, 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 nope. Okay, so... <laughs> they, um... I really should have expected this to happen. <laughs> to be perfectly honest, because, you know, the other ones weren't really reacting, but... Good god, that was... that was absolutely rude. Can I just please get rid of it? Oh my god. I really don't like using iron sights on that gun. I can't stress this enough, but it is, like, the worst idea in the world to use iron sights. Okay. Maybe we should just go with what the intended solution was, and just, like... Ignore them altogether. Uh, there's a guy up there. Actually, I have to try this. <laughs> Let's see if. Yeah. Here's another one. <laughs> totally worth it. Okay, let's try our best to avoid these lasers because if they go off, then I'm just bound to die instantly, considering the fact that. I am in much closer proximity of these turrets. Can I even duck over this one? Like, this just doesn't seem fair, in my opinion. Oh god, I don't like- I don't like the looks of this at all. Let me try- Crouch jumping! Oh god. My nerves! Ugh. Okay. Okay, that's one hurdle over. Now... This one. I don't think I have much walking space around here this time. But I really don't want to go in that direction because there's probably going to be a bunch of guards, and chances are they're going to be out to murder my face. Or we could just watch those scientists die because 
That's what they do in these games, is that they just kind of are there to die and sometimes give you health.